Well, hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Stars One. Yes, indeed, back here in the Super Craft Aramis kind of thing. Okay, three empty bottles, eh? Hmm. Well, that's not too even, but uh, okay. Oh, is it getting dark? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, I believe it is. Yes. Uh oh. Well, let's quickly run down the hill and fill these up. Perfect. And let's get back in here. Before we are accosted by things. Alright, over you go. In you get dirty water. That'll give us one more drinkable. Now, Mr. Crusher, how are you doing? Good stuff. I've actually started over again. We're not at the uh, same spot we were before. And one of each. Yes, indeed. I'll take that guy. Alright. Now, I need to fill that one. And then... We'll have enough for one more set. Ooh, dark, 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 dark. Run, 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 run. And fill it. And run, 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 run. Yeah, go, dude, go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, one more dirty water. There we go. That'll give us one of each. Okay. We've got... Now, I want to make steel powder out of that. So, let's do steel powder. There we go. And let's cook that. Uh, I believe the furnace is going to be our best bet. What have you got? Iron ingots, good for you. Let's see how you do. Now, the nice thing about the furnace is it'll actually, well, it, with iron anyway, if you use crushed iron or powdered iron, it'll give you twice the ingots. You'll get two for each one, which is a nice thing. Well, let me tell you, this gives us only one, but it is steel after all. So, I believe we can throw that in there and make steel plate out of it. Oh. I guess it takes a little more steel powder than that. Wow. One steel plate. <laughs> well, we don't want it to be slack, so let's uh let's get some daylight, shall we? Boom. And it's daylight. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what do we got here? There we go. You can go there. Uh, steel plates. We've got a couple iron ingots. Okay, iron. No, I think we'll put these in here as well. Powdered iron. Powdered coal. <laughs> yeah, let's leave that go. Let's go out and... Uh, so up here... That's our antenna. That's a beacon that allows you to... You see how we've got beacon right there? Two meters? Yeah, that's how you can find your home. Once you build an antenna, it'll always tell you where the beacon is. Anywhere on the map. So, my next project is actually to get the, uh, the final bench built. This guy here. But we need 15 steel plates. Yeah, that's why I'm doing the... Uh, are you doing anything? 
No, you've just got coal in there to keep you running. You guys have a long run out of things to do. Yes, okay. Well, I'm going to allow that to continue to crush a coal. And, uh... Let's head out. Now I'm going to put those there just so we have something to snack on. Now, twice out here I've been attacked by, uh, I don't know, I guess they're, uh, pumas? Easy enough to take out with the sword, you just gotta notice they're there, because, uh, well, like most cats, dang, they're sneaky little boogers. <laughs> yes. One minute everything's just wee-yee-haw. And the next minute it's rar rar rar, and yeah, that isn't any fun. No, oh, I hear the sirens a wailing outside. Never a good thing. Man, there's a lot of those. Yeah. Here's a normal one. No, that's an oil field. Unbelievable. I don't know, this particular spawn, it seems there's an awful lot of these. <laughs> but one thing you learn early in this game, the grind is real. And something that's really did good, really did really good to do in early game is look for the columns of smoke. An oil field. Whoa. I didn't know you guys were just out here wandering around. I thought you were sort of a come get me at my base thing. They're easy enough to take out. Again, providing you have the sword, they're easy to take out. But yeah, you really gotta watch yourself. Enemies are real in this game. And I find they really love to attack you when your inventory's open. <laughs> it's like they know. Hey, press the tab button, get them. Uh, might as well grab some sticks. What do we got over here? More ores. Quickly make sure I don't see anything charging at us through the grass. Not the moment. Good. I thought so. Yeah, of course you are. I need to know what these are. Oh. What the heck? No, I don't seem to be able to do anything to them. Hmm. Okay, well, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Let us continue on. Doing some exploring.
You don't seem to have a stamina meter, which is kind of a nice change from uh, most things where you get to run three feet and then you have to stop and, you know, pant and do all kinds of weird things. have ourselves some lemons. Otherwise they'll just go bad. And I don't need them to go bad right now. Let's go up the hill. See what there is to see, shall we? Hmm. Well, there's a crash there. That's an awful long ways. Crash sites are really good to find early on. Because they may contain things you cannot yet build. Like steel plate and that sort of thing. It takes a little bit. You've got to have a crusher before you can make steel plates. As far as I know, the only other way you're going to get a hold of any of them is to find them in chests. There's a few things like that. Um... You need to have a melting furnace in place before you can make uh, certain items as well, but you can find them in chests. So, not something you want to rely on for resources, but like I said, early game, man, it can help you out. It can be the difference between building a machine you need to make stuff or not. Jeez, we're getting diamonds in just about every one of them. So far, I've only found one use for diamonds. And that's building your crusher. Nice full inventory. Okay, let's throw those back in the usable slot. Beautiful. I actually have a few to plant, but I haven't made planters yet. We will uh, be turning our rooftop into a garden. Or, of course it is. So this does make a reasonable weapon if you do get attacked while you're uh, in the tab mode. But, it is not as quick as the sword, I'll tell you that for free. No, oil field, oil field. Well, I know this big guy isn't going to be an oil field. Boom. Are you lemons? No, you're oranges. 
All right, so here we have a crash. What would we get? Hmm. Yeah, see steel plate and simple electronics. Not a lot in there, but oil field or <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those. You can see there's another one way off in the distance. So they're uh, they are out there. You look like an oil field, and you look like an oil field, so... Hmm. Not sure how much further this way I want to go. I think we're past the halfway point in the day. So it probably behooves us to head home. But yeah, you do need to... Uh, you do need to spend a fair bit of time resource gathering. That's kind of a nice island there, eh? Wouldn't be a bad spot to set up a home. And there you can see our uh, little thing pointing to Beacon. That's our home. Which is certainly a lot quicker than uh, chasing along the coast until I get the right spot, which is how I do it before you get the antenna up. <laughs> and one thing I've noticed, oddly enough, is that meat doesn't seem to deteriorate. Vegetables, fruits, almost too quickly. But meat? Yeah, doesn't seem to. Yeah, we're so. What didn't I pick up? Weird. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Strange. Okay, we're heading Beacon's word here. Grab those because the sticks do come in handy. Let's head for our beacon. Yeah, I think we'll go right over the top. Right over the top. Yeah, you'll notice I took a little bit of damage there. You gotta be really careful when you're up in the hills. You can walk fine, but when you're sprinting, that'll happen. Oh, that's our actual crash site. <laughs> That'll just allow us to get in, and there's really no reason to. Yeah, C, press F to use. Alright, well, let's get down the hill. Mm-hmm. You can quite handily just walk down the side of a mountain. It's when you run that you get into trouble. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's a lemon out here for a moment. Uh, 
There's some sheep. And what we want to do is shear them. There we go. And then Once they're shaved, we want to do that, because we'll get a ton of meat from them. Hmm, not so much that guy. Alright. Ooh, there's a regular ore. Nice. Alright. Let us head home. I believe these are all, yeah, places to ore vein mine. I'm sorry, excuse me. And again, okay. Oh yeah, look at this. Now, most of these I'm just going to stick into our freezer. Anything else? Extracts. No? Okay. Let's go grab our bananas. Yeah, food is not a... A major inconvenience on this. You just need to uh, remember to deal with it. So, we have this guy for that. Boom. And then if I need compost, we can simply uh, allow compost, which I'm going to do right there. Uh, furnace, right, steel powder, centrifuge, interesting device that when it breaks things down into other bits, iron plates, nice, and our crusher, cool, alrighty, let's, uh, let's sort some of this, shall we, <laughs> mm-hmm, Get our silicon in there. Boom. Boom. Clay. Good for making bricks if you like bricks. Other than that, I haven't really found too much of a use for it. And of course, stone. Very useful. Uh, also running out of space. Uh-oh. Let's take the sand. 
Um, the diamonds, that's still not going to give us enough room. Uh, Well, let's put one more coal in there. Okay. And this guy takes all our bits and pieces. Cotton seeds, excellent. Wool, got lots because I shear all of the sheep before I do anything else with them. Uh, ooh. Look at all the diamonds we got. Cool. And... A bit of extra gear. Uh... Yeah, sure. Let's put our diamonds in there. Let's put the sand in there. And ore. Boink. There we oops, that's still a clay. Eh? Okay. Now these guys. Let's top them up. Okay, uh, how about you? Sure, you'll take a little topping up, will you? Alrighty. These, we will swap out wood for coal. I think they'll burn coal. There we go. In fact, let's, uh, sure they do. See? Let's make some bricks. Okay. Little of that. Little of that, and we're good. All right, now I need from the crush air. Excellent. Hmm. Well, that's not going to quite do it. Let's get you to do this instead. Okay. Yeah, we need 15 steel plate. That's what's holding me up with this guy. Nine more, eh? Let's throw those in the furnace. How many does it take? Come on. Five or six? No, five. Sorry. <laughs> Gives you one steel ingot, and one steel ingot will give us one steel plate. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It takes five of those. Wow. So into the press you go. There's some iron plate, and a couple of steel plate out the other end. Hmm. There's iron plates. Yeah, we've only got four, so we need another six steel plates before we can uh, get that other bench going on. Hmm, that's going to take a bit. Yeah. That is going to take a bit. Huh. What do I need for uh, garden plots? Is it under plants? No. Uh, uh, so it'll be under what? Builds? 
There we are, garden beds. We need planks, small iron parts, and fertilizer. So, uh, planks I don't have much of. We'll have to make some more. Small iron parts and fertilizer. Okay. So, let's make some planks. Let's go to ingredients, planks. And we'll just make a bunch. Uh, electronic parts we need some of, but we might have enough builds. Alright, how many can I make here? Ooh, a bunch. Oh. Apparently we're out of small iron parts, huh? And for that, I'm gonna need iron plates and iron ingots. So, iron plates, iron ingots, and out of builds into ingredients, small iron parts. Okay, should give us enough. Back to builds. Boom. Okay, 14 garden beds. Not bad. And that's mainly because, uh, our compost ran out, which is why I've got those oranges sitting there. So that's not going to be too bad. Alright, let's, uh, let's get these guys laid out. How about we go here? Two, three, four. Okay, there's a start. We have a garden. Nice. So. Oh, the reason that's sitting up high like that is because I'm actually... I have our uh, power distributor buried up there. So, yeah, that's what's beaming power from here. It goes to the accumulator battery inside of this which as you can see is at 500 of 500 and then using these little wire transfer dudes you can put it into all the machines 2930 hmm. okay well we can make it a little bit more steel Not many to be exact. And if we come over to our press. Oh, I guess I need to make it into ingots first. Dang. Let's go to the furnace first. There we are. Steel powder. Okay. And again, it takes huge amounts, so. We are still way shy on our steel plates. We need ten. We now have six. Hmm. There you go. And it's getting dark. Well, I don't like dark. Do you like dark? I don't like dark. There we go. Boom. It's daytime. Ooh, I left my door open all night? I'm not the swiftest, am I? Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh... A trip upstairs. I need to build a door for this, too. It makes me a little nervous having it wide open like that. Okay, let's put you here. And... Now, I don't think they require any watering or anything like that. Oop, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's eat. Let's drink. There we are. Everything's at 100%. Everything. 
And with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode. So, we are uh, we are definitely progressing here. Definitely, definitely progressing. Yeah, that's it. Three more, eh? Wow. <laughs> okay. And next time around, we're going to get into some of the uh, centrifuge stuff. There's an empty bottle. Oops. Don't do that. I don't know why you do that. There we are. We can fill these, and that'll give us one more of each. Hmm. Some more sheep over there. Uh, you. That easy. And two of these will give us one clean water and one empty bottle. So, yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to call it there. We're, uh, yeah, advanced science. Well, we can build, oh, we can't yet. I guess we can because we've got that in place. But advanced electronics, I haven't made any of those yet. So, anyways, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Until next time, though, take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.